Hey coach, welcome back. Today I wanna to talk about why you should stop undercutting the pricing of your competition. So I'm gonna give you a great example here, okay? In my city, so in my city for every single sport, there are coaches who try to undercut their competitors. And here's why this is a problem, all right? I'm gonna give you a great example. And if you have a pen and a piece of paper, you'll be able to break this down while I'm talking. Okay, let's say your business charges $50 an hour. Okay, I don't recommend doing anything by the hour. If you've followed any of our podcasts or our YouTube or email newsletter, I don't recommend that. But let's just say that's what you think you're valued at, $50 an hour, okay? And there's someone else in your town who offers something at $40 an hour. So now they're charging $10 less than you. And maybe they have more clients. And then you start to think in your head, well, wow, they're at $40 an hour, I'm at 50, maybe I'm too expensive. Maybe that coach is getting more players than me because the price is lower. And then you think in your head, well, maybe I should do $35 an hour. This way I am cheaper than that coach at 40. And then you start to get more clients. And then you start to feel like you're training way more at the field, at the court, or at the park because now you have all the, these clients who are paying less. So notice what I just said. You have all of these clients now who are paying less. And this is the way it works. When you have something that is too affordable, when you have something that is cheap, you will attract the wrong clients, right? Because what you could do is you could stick to your guns and be like, you know what? That person's offering at 40. I could do it at 75. I could do it at 100. And they could work as and they get as many clients as they want to, but they're going to have to work so many more sessions than I would ever have to. And I'm a good example of that in my city, right? My pricing that I have for private training is at a premium. And that's because I know the value of my time and I know the value of the results that we've proven with the players who've come through our training program, right? If I wanted to try to undercut everyone else, I would have to work two or three times more at the, at the park that I train at, which is not smart, okay? If you think about that, I would be working two to three times more if my pricing was, was half of what it is and I would still be making the same amount of money, right? So this is where you have to think about what is your value and what do you wanna offer and who do you want to attract into your business? Do you want to have really high quality athletes or high quality players committed to your programs for month after month after month? Or do you wanna offer something that's cheap, that's too affordable, just because your competitor is offering something um, either cheaper than you or you feel like you need to undercut them, right? So that right there is why you shouldn't do it. And here is a little mindset shift that you might wanna take, okay? And to me, this makes total sense, all right? There is a general doctor and there is a brain surgeon. The brain surgeon typically will make at least three to four times more money than a general doctor. The general doctor will service everyone, right? Brain surgeon is very specific. He is a specialist. You wanna take that approach with your business. You wanna be a specialist that specializes in helping players through a very unique way that no one else can do it, all right? And this way you can separate yourself from the general trainers. That's how, the way I look at it. Most coaches are generalists, all right? I wanna be a specialist. And when you're a specialist, you can charge more, you can offer more value, and you can get better results with the clients that you serve. So that is how you wanna think about it. And this is going to allow you to double or triple or quadruple your pricing, all right? If you know how to leverage the value that you provide, right? That right there is gonna be key. You can't just raise your price for the sake of raising your price. You have to raise the value that you're providing, this way the clients that you are getting, right, they're seeing better results than they would if they're training with someone who's offering a mediocre service, right? So that is how I would do that if I was you, all right? You don't wanna be a general trainer, you wanna be a specialist, and when you're a specialist, you can start increasing your prices, your value is gonna be better, and you're not gonna to need to undercut any competitors in the future. And if you're paying too much attention to your competitors, you're not paying enough attention to your market. You should be thinking about attracting the highest quality families in your program, period. All right, that's it for this video. If you want more help, I'm just a phone call away. Here's how it works. 
you go to my website, go to www.buildmysportsbiz.com. At the top of the page, it says mastermind. It's a huge blue button. Click on that. It takes you to an application form from there. All right. You and me will schedule a 15 to 30 minute uh, time to chat on the phone. I can get to know who you are. I can see what you need help with. And I would love to help you out. I do this every day, guys. So you hear me talk about it in every video. Every single day I'm on the phone with coaches, I would love to help you out. It's a free phone call. You got nothing to lose. I'll see you on that phone call.